Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will try to solve some simple examples related to sets uh, relations. Let's look at this example. We have been given two sets uh, diagrammatically. We have 5, comma 6, comma 7 as part of set P and we have 3, comma 4, comma 5 elements as part of Q. Write this relation in both the forms that is set builder and roster form. What is its domain and range? First let us write it in roster form. I will say range relation equal to now 5 is to 3. So I will say 5 comma 3 and the relation is from P to Q. The order is P to Q. So it will be 5 comma 3, 6 comma 4 comma 7 comma 5 that's what it is in roster form okay now w what is it in set builder form how will you write in set builder form i will write it as i will say x comma y such that x belongs to we know that x belongs to 5 comma 6 comma 7 not only that y equal to x minus 2. Can you see that relationship? Your y is always nothing but equal to x minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, 7 minus 2 is 5. So we are saying the relation is established between elements of set P and Q where the set of first elements, the set of elements from the first set are 5, 6, 7 and the set of elements from Q are the elements which satisfy the relation y equal to x minus 2 that is nothing but 3, 4 and 5. Actually we have only 3 elements if I have some other elements they will not be part of this relationship. Ok that's about it in both the forms. Now what is its domain? Domain always comes from the first set and what is domain? All the elements which are part of the relation. So domain is nothing but equal to 5, 6, 7. All three of them are part of the relation. You can see that. So domain equal to 5, 6, 7. Now what is range? Range is from the second set. All the elements which are part of relation. All the three of them are part of relation. So I can directly say 3, comma 4, comma 5. That's about it. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Determine domain and range of the relation defined by x comma x plus 5 x belongs to 0 1 2 3 4 5 let's try to draw this first so that it's very easy let us say there are two sets you want to create a relation between them so let me say this is x and this is y this is y for me and y is given as relation is x plus 5 and i know all the elements from x nothing but 0 x belongs to 0 1 2 3 4 5 now there are no constraints on y other than that y should be x plus 5 so if i have 0 it should be 5 if i have 1 it will be 6 2 will be 7 3 will be 8 4 will be 9 and 5 will be 10 now how the relation goes x comma x plus 5 0 to 5 similarly 1 to 6 similarly 2 to 7 3 to 8 4 to 9 and 5 to 10 now how will we repeat what is the domain of this domain is nothing but domain domain of this relation is nothing but all the elements which are part of relationship all the x values so i can directly say domain equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and 5 so that's nothing but the domain of this now what is range range means all the elements from the second set domain means all the elements from the first set so range range is nothing but equal to the elements from the second set which are part of the relation that's nothing but 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10. You can check that. The difference between them is 5. 5 minus 5, 6 minus 5, 7 minus 5, 8 minus 5, 9 minus 5, 10 minus 5. All of them satisfy the relation y equal to x plus 5. In the next session, at the last, we will discuss about functions and how a relation can be a function. A special type of relation is called as function. Now, what are the key characteristics of function which will separate a function from a relation? Then we look into what is the domain of a function, range of a function, how to find out the domain range of a particular function. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next session. Thanks again.